Hi YouTube, um, I've done quite a lot of videos now on various fossils that I've collected from uh, UK locations. Um, so today this is going to be about my um, Hastings collection. So if you just come down here for a second. Okay, so I've only been to Hastings once but um, this should give you an idea of what I collected like in one day. Um, I didn't think it was a particularly great day really but um, I'll visit there again in the future and see what I can get. So um, I've got these rocks that have got uh, little bivalves in, um, just basically like little clams. So you get either like the positive where you're seeing the, the actual creature, this is the same, you can see them here, um, or if you imagine a surface against this that's lifted off. Um, you get this where you get the kind of imprint like the sort of negative impression if you like um, then there's this which is a piece of stem so uh, under the microscope you can see all kind of striations on this so that's quite nice um, there's a, a little tiny thing here which I haven't identified yet but underneath the microscope it's got all um, lines on it like little ridges um, then we've got this little tray of uh, fossil wood. So fossil wood, you know, it can either be really crumbly and when you touch it it all just breaks apart really easily. Um, these bits are a little more solid, uh, just chunky and black. And you can see uh, it just kind of looks like charcoal, which is, you know, essentially what it is. Um, just bigger, kind of shinier pieces of it. Uh, and you can find this throughout the rocks. You know, you can break apart the rocks and this stuff just, you know, pops out. This is a more crumbly bit. You can see it, look, there's the rock and then you've got the wood as a layer on the top there. But you get to recognise this quite easily because it's very shiny and black and it sort of stands out really well. Um, okay, in this rock, there's a little tiny fish scale. Um, so if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see some fish scales that I found at um, Lyme Regis once. Um, probably from the same species actually because this is a very kind of uh, obvious kind of diamond shape. Um, then we've got this fish scale which is much more of an interesting shape. Um, I'll put up some photos at the end of this video uh, of this under the microscope so you can see it more clearly because it's a really nice scale. Uh, then we've got a few kind of bits and pieces in here that are smaller. I think this is part of a um, ray tooth. Uh, that's possibly another bit of... Um, I know this, is, this under the microscope is uh, it's just got quite an interesting structure to it. It's kind of like sand, but uh, it's formed like little tiny um, sort of nodules or something. Anyway, then there's a lot of little micro fossils that I'm picking out. Um, we've also got, and there's another fish scale here, it's quite a cool shape with the two sort of um, pointy bits at the end there. A kind of a typical sort of diamond shaped scale again but with these two little interesting bits at the end. Um, and then we've got this which is a, a nodule. Um, when I first found these, because there's a lot of these at Hastings, um, I got quite excited because quite often you can find nodules and you can break them open from other locations and there'll be fossils inside the nodules and I thought if they do contain fossils it would be a really brilliant thing because I could collect a lot of these and break them all open um, but they don't contain fossils um, and they're basically just um, ironstone uh, nodules uh, or something very similar anyway and they're pretty solid you can see like the lump in the middle and then they form all these layers around it um so i just bought this one home as a specimen for my kind of uh, nodule collection because it was a particularly good one in that you can see the middle bit quite clearly and you can see all the layers clearly as well um so that was basically all i found at um hastings i did find these so up on the cliffs i was you know searching for all the fossils and there are a lot of seagulls around and um, what I noticed is they were pecking at you know all the fish and things dead fish 
and quite often you would get them to fly away and there'd be a dead fish there. And when I found these, I recognised what they were um, because I found fossil ones of these and they're actually from a ray um, and they are dermal denticles. Uh, you can see the spine there. So these are on the back of a ray and they're just sort of for protection I guess if you grab it if something grabs it it's going to get spiked by these little tiny spikes um, and yeah so I've got a lot of those as you can see and um, they I just think they're really nice but those these are all modern off of a modern fish obviously um, if they'd have been a dark grey colour I might have got excited and thought they were fossil ones but uh, it's obvious they're not but I've just put them in this tray for now even though they're not fossils uh, just because they're quite interesting little objects um, right well I also did at Hastings um, because I didn't find much I just collected some uh, gravel so quite often if you're looking for micro fossils um, if you go to the place on the beach where you know this is like a shaley beach um, or oh, it's got lots of uh, lots of stones but when you go to the finer stones like this this is where I tend to find the most kind of micro fossils so what I do is I search for an area where I'm actually finding a few micro fossils at the time and if I am I collect a few tubs worth like that of gravel and then I can just search through them uh, when I've got a bit of spare time and pick out all the micro fossils and I mean they are you know tiny little things so they just end up in a bottle like this but you'll find things like fish teeth and um, you know tiny tiny little bits and pieces so bits of bone and that sort of thing or like um, you can find things like bits of stingray barb uh, that kind of thing so anyway, um, that's what I found in one day at Hastings. Um, it's a shame because I was looking for dinosaur bones because it's the only UK location really apart from Lyme Regis and Charmouth where you can find you know, decent dinosaur specimens um, or very similar because it, it's basically the same sort of rock structure as it is at Lyme Regis. So I always go looking for ichthyosaur vertebrae and things like that. Um, and I found some at Lyme Regis, but I didn't find any at Hastings. But there are so many rocks that look a bit like um, ichthyosaur vertebrae. So an ichthyosaur vertebrae is basically just like like a sort of a disc, it looks like a disc. And you're looking for usually like a sort of a reddish brown colour. Um, so if you look at this, this is the kind of thing that I'm finding. Right, <laughs> this I found at Hastings. Okay, I found so many things that were similar to this. So you look at it, you see it sticking in the other rocks, and it'll be just popping out like this, and you'll be like, <gasps> "It's an ichthyosaur vertebrae." You know, when you first see it, it's got you know it's round, it's flat at the top, and then it it's got this kind of beveled edge at the side here, very flat. And when that is sticking out like that, honestly, that really looks like an ichthyosaur vertebrae. And you just go, yay, I found one. And then you dig it out and you go, no, it's just a rock. <laughs> um, so, yeah, very disappointing. But I kept that just to remind myself. It's quite an amusing thing. Um, okay, thanks for watching. And, yeah, if I go back to Hastings at any point um, and I find more stuff, I'll obviously post it on YouTube. Um, and any other locations that I go to, uh, I'll post up as well. So... Don't forget to hit subscribe and then anything I post up in the future you'll get to see as soon as I post it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So this is that rock that I showed you to start with that I said had um, a small specimen with like concentric rings on it. Um, and as yet I haven't identified it but here it is. Um, it may just be some kind of small um, clamshell like bivalve uh, section again we shall see. Um, and here's a microscope image of the first fish scale that I showed you. Again, you can see this kind of uh, oval diamond shape. Half of it is still sticking in the rock. This is a different image of the exact same scale. And this is the more interesting shape fish scale. You can see with these jagged sort of edges to it. Um, it's also really nice in that you can see all the detail 
all the sort of um, lines inside it and also it's got like this kind of shiny enamel coat to it um, so yeah I was really pleased with this particular specimen it's probably from a completely different species of fish to the previous scale um, and here's another view of it um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video